Welcome to MSA Gear Talk. My name is Frank and I'm first responder marketing manager here at MSA. During your incidents, dust, debris and other hazardous materials and substances can easily accumulate on the surfaces of your respiratory equipment. Therefore, it's crucial that the respiratory equipment can be easily cleaned. That was one of our main goals when we developed the M1 SCBA. Let's have a look at the M1 and the advanced harness. We designed it with the goal of reducing textile fabrics as much as possible and switched over to materials that are water and dust repellent while keeping all flame retardant properties and the intrinsic safety. I have here water and you can clearly see how the water rolls off the harness. So that saves you time during the cleaning process and it saves time as well during the drying of the SCBA. The M1 SCBA combines high-tech materials and functionality in terms of comfort, chemical resistance and maintenance. Now let's move from theory to practice. As we are in a maintenance shop area here at MSA, who could be more suitable than my colleague Enrico, who is since years a trainer for respiratory products. Enrico, what is the most important thing when a service technician maintains the SCBA in his workshop? In my opinion, the most important thing is you can easily clean and disinfect the SCBA without disassembling. But if it is really heavily dirty, um, is it as well possible to dismantle the SCBA for proper cleaning? With a few steps, you can easily remove the pneumatics from the back plate, open the cylinder retainer and open all hose retainer. Remove the hose from the back plate and the complete pneumatics are disassembled from the back plate. I think it's important to dismantle as well the harnesses, right? Um, can you show us how that works? First, you have to remove the cylinder strap from the back plate. The next step is remove the uh, shoulder straps from the back plate. Slide it down and then you can remove also the fastener. And the last step is remove the hip belt from the swiveling hip plate. And as you can see, the back plate is really easy to clean because we have no hard to reach edges. Now the M1 SCBA is just one part of the SCBA system. What about the lung govern demand valve? Easier. Only two steps. Remove the cover from the demand valve. And second step, remove the diaphragm. So now it's ready to clean. And we have as well the G1 face piece? Sure. The first of all, I remove the nose cap. The second step is I remove the inhalation valve. Then I remove the speaking diaphragm. Remove the cover from the connection piece. And remove the exhalation valve and the spring. Now it's ready to clean and disinfect. Thanks a lot, Enrico. I really think that speaks for itself. Feel free to drop us a message at Facebook and watch out for other gear talks on our website.